What is up and is going on guys, Simsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 14 Florentina career mode. Today's episode is 6th in the season. Now, in my Manchester United one, if you've seen earlier today, um, that ended, season 4 ended on episode 6. Now, I kind of wanted it to sync it up, but unfortunately it hasn't. Uh, this is not the last season of the Florentina career mode. We've still got one more episode in which we're going to go through the squad report, and we do have one match as well. So guys, in today's episode, we have a match against Valencia, the semi-finals of the Euro League, and then we have a match against Napoli and Milan in uh, Serie A. So, seeing the last episode, we lost a fucking lot of games. Um... We really do need to win those matches against Napoli and Milan to even get into that top three spot. A uh, top four spot, what I planned for, that top three I want. Um, but before we even get on to Serie A, we have a match against Valencia. So, guys, if you'd like to leave a like on this video, that'd be fantastic. Also, let me know in the comment section down below, would you like to see Season 2 of the Frontina Career Mode? If you guys don't want to see Season 2, all you need to do is say, No Season 2, I want you to play as Norwich, Crystal Palace. Um, basically, Crystal Palace... Nor Norwich, maybe Everton, Southampton, one of those lower league teams. I think I'll probably do a career mode as. And if you guys don't want me to do Season 2 of the Florentina career mode, and you don't want me to do Season 5 of the Manchester United one, I'm probably just going to do one career mode. So um, we'll, we'll just have to see about that. So, uh, Fl uh, sorry, not Florentina. Uh, Valencia actually got off to a good start, scoring one goal, which is putting the pressure back on us and conceding. Uh, I'm used to it with Florentina, to be honest. Begovic hasn't been having a very good... Uh, start of the game, but we've got David Luis on the control with an outstanding tackle there, pushes us forward, and we're going for obviously hopefully the first goal of the game, and we do so. And oh, we didn't actually, sorry, <laughs> tricked you. <ya. laughs> but um, it was still very tight, one-one. Oscar whipping in a ball here, and uh, I have no idea how that goal went in. One-one, and there was an awesome header from Ron Keglia, whatever his name is, but. That was such an awesome ball on the line to make it 1-1. So he was like, yes, we're getting points away against Valencia. We're hopefully going to make our finals in the EuroLeague, which I wasn't really planning to, but I'm hoping we can pull it off. But that's an outstanding goal there. Look at this. Boom. Awesome, awesome stuff. And um, I just fucking love that goal. Right on the touchline. It's like he didn't hit it with his right foot either. He hit it with his left which is even more of a tighter angle. Obviously, when you run down on that that right-hand side, obviously the left-hand strikers, left-footed strikers are going to hit it better, and vice versa when the right-hand strike, a uh, right foot, <laughs> fucking right side, and then uh, I'm done. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'm just confused myself. Let's talk talking about legs and hands and feet and whatnot. Let's talk about the Euro League. We end up winning three-two over. Uh, Valencia, and that puts us in the finals, which is awesome. So that means we have um, a finals hopes in the Euro League, which I don't know. It wasn't really expected, but I'm hoping we can. So we have a match against. Uh, stop talk, thinking about Euro. We really do need to um, press for that top three spot. So we have a match against Napoli, but unfortunately, two of my players have red cards, and it's two of my best. Defenders, I would say Cohen Thrall and David Luiz. So we're gonna have to switch around the team quite significantly to adjust to my left back being out of it and my uh, center defensive mid. Which David Luiz, he's a center back in this game, but he actually can play in that center defensive mid role. And in real life, he actually well before he played for Chelsea, he played for some Portuguese team. I can't remember off the top of my head. I would say Benfica, but I'm probably gonna be quoted. You quote me if I'm wrong anywhere. It's not really going to matter. Um, anyway, he played a more midfielder central role. And uh, sometimes in Chelsea, he does push up the line a bit. <laughs> so I feel like that center defensive mid role is perfect for him. Because he's got, he's got enough room to move and do those tackles. Very much like Fellaini. And, um, but he obviously doesn't really have that much of a shooting shot. But let's talk about the league now. We're currently sitting on third on 76 points. So we're basically where... I, w I thought we would hit the top three. If At max, I think we're going to hit third. I don't think we're going to increase by that. I think the other teams have a bit of a, a jump on us. But we have to rearrange the team, and I'm hoping we can bring points away. against. If we can win against Napoli and win against Milan, that pretty much cements our third spot. And hopefully, it um, doesn't dip us down to fourth. 
But um, Ron Keglia, that was an outstanding comeback from the corner, but unfortunately he didn't score. Napoli pressing the attack, and uh, Higuain has been absolutely emphatic all season, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets on the score sheet in this match. We're doing well against Napoli so far, but it's still very early days. Uh, I have no... Why the fuck, Begovic, didn't you pick that up? Like, he got the ball and just, like, pushed it to the side. I'm going to have to show you a replay here on this, guys. But he, like, feeds it to the ground. He doesn't get hands on it. It's so... Like, he just feeds it straight to the Napoli player. Ah, and that pissed me off there. But Suarez and Rossi trying to create something. And uh, Suarez sees Rossi. And Rossi nearly gets through on goal. But with an amazing tackle, couldn't quite get it back. But I don't know what the fuck happened here. <laughs> But that just shows attacking pressure to bring the ball back. And it's in our attacking half. And Suarez, oh my god, why the fuck did you put that in the back of the net? That was such a good piece of play to get up there. But it was a another bullshit goal. I was going to say that should have been a penalty. But the Colombian, Eduardo, whatever his name is. Uh, I can't remember, it starts with C. But uh, I didn't really play him that much in this season. So I didn't really get to learn him that much. I usually just put Zaha on and swap, swapped him out mostly. But, just fucking Pepe Reina jumping on Suarez. But, it was just another bullshit goal. Because that last one against Valencia on the t on like the fucking line, uh, still managed to go in. We still managed to get one there as well. So, it's 1-1 against Napoli. Suarez threw on goal. And Pepe Reina putting it away. And Suarez, very similar in the last shot that he did get blocked. He goes through on goal to make it 2-1 to Florentino. I was like, fuck yes, Napoli. And he did a dive on the fucking... <laughs> This stadium has like um, a cycling ring around, a running track, and uh, he just fucking flopped right onto it, which would have absolutely caned. Imagine doing it on grass and fucking Kane's doing the salmon, but on, <laughs> oh, on that track would have absolutely smashed him up. But we're trying to get one more back to cement our, our, our leads, and if because we're not, <laughs> we need to cement our leads, guys. We're not very known of holding it, but an outstanding goal there to make it. 3-1 by the young Colombian. Awesome, awesome stuff. We actually bought this guy from Newton Desney. And uh, I I didn't really like him very much in the season. He, I thought $25 million, especially buying for him for Florentina last season, was a little bit outrageous from Newton Desney. Newton Desney. And I don't know. He just didn't really play well. And I kept playing Zaha a lot more. But he did manage to bring himself back. And uh, Napoli then nearly scoring a second to make it 3-2. But it looks like we're going to run away with the points against Napoli. Come on, we can hold it on, guys. We can, If we can beat Napoli, that would be absolutely ecstatic. But we end up beating Napoli 3-1. Fuck yes, guys. It wasn't a um, very... It wasn't, like, predictable, I would say. I didn't think that we'd actually beat Napoli at home. And uh, we end up winning 3-1, which is awesome, awesome stuff. We drew against Valencia, and now we have a match against Milan. So... We're doing it. We're off to a better start than we did. Oh no, a better episode than we did in the last one, because we won the first ep. We won the first match out of six, and then we ended up drawing one and losing the fucking rest. But guys, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we can make that top three spot solid. Uh, we end up winning a match three two, and Ander Herrera, Rossi, and Suarez end up getting on the score sheet. But guys, we are currently sitting on second. With 82 points, Milan on 81. Juventus are only 3 points clear of us. What the fuck? Roma are on 77 points and Inter on 73. So, if we beat Milan, we can nearly be contenders for the title. Which is mental. We have a match against Milan, and then we have a match against Torinto, and then we have the Champions, uh, sorry, the Euro Final against Arsenal. So, if we beat Milan, we've still got one more match in hand. We could win the title. Now, I was go because this absolutely surprised the hell out of me. So, we'll just have to see whether or not we could actually win the title, potentially. We'll just have to see uh, against Milan. But if we lose to Milan, we're definitely hitting that top three spot. And, uh, like I said, I was aiming for fourth. And uh, I really tried to focus on the league after we lost the Coppa Nazionale. We lost to Juventus in the semi-finals. And uh, so we'll just have to see how this develops. So we really do need to beat Milan. Obviously, they beat us. They go, they get pushed to second. But if we get second, that would be awesome. That would be outstanding. Like I've been saying the whole season, 
If we get that top four spot, that's where we're going to go, I reckon. We could push for third, but I don't know if we, whether or not we're going to hit it or not. But this match against Milan, we have it at home, so we do have the advantage. We'll just have to see how we play. We're in form. We drew 1-1 against Valencia, and we won against Napoli 3-1. Suarez to wrong goal. Sends a massive, massive goal, and a crucial one against um, Abiate. Awesome, awesome stuff. Luis Suarez. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Awesome. It's fucking awesome. Make it 1-0. And we're at home against Milan. We've lost against Milan previously at the San Siro. But Luis Suarez breaking the deadlock sends an absolute howl past. And he actually gets cleaned up in the process. The captain of Florentina. Boom. And uh, I'm just showing the replay there, guys. Absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. David Luis and Fabio cohen Thrall back from their red card incident. And uh, David Lewis is not giving... <laughs> He's going through. <laughs> Back from his red card. And hopefully he can score here. Unfortunately, he doesn't. And uh, that was a, a very, very bad shot from Suarez. I have no idea how he can score such an amazing goal previously. And then just put something like that through. And uh, Herrera nearly, nearly testing the goalkeeper. We're trying to get another one back. And it's fucking the Colombian again. He's been playing outstanding. I was giving him stick the whole season. He was very inconsistent. He wasn't there from time to time. He scored three goals in the past two matches. And seals the deal against Milan. Top into the top right-hand corner with an amazing volley. Look at this. Actually, it wasn't a volley. It bounce, took a bounce before. But um, still, look at this. No chance past the Milan keeper to make it 2-1 at... Florentina, awesome, awesome stuff, and hopefully we can get some more goals to cement our league. But Nap uh, sorry, but Milan weren't going to give us any break, and it was actually Rubinho to make it 2-1. And of course, Milan were going to score; it was inevitable. They still have a fair few striking, striking uh, like potential. They've still got Balotelli, Rubinho, Kaká, and Begovic. There, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. The Colombian making a run again. And, oh my god. This kid is absolutely spectacular. Two go Four goals in two matches. Seals the deal. And if we didn't have this player, I don't think we would have been uh, able to win against Napoli and Milan. Look at this. Past Sirigu. Who actually... Oh, it's not Abiate, sorry. I did say Abiate. They bought Sirigu. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I've corrected myself. But... Mex says they're looking disappointed. 3-1. <laughs> awesome, awesome stuff. And that's his sixth goal in the Serie A. So he scored four of his last four goals in the last two matches, which is just mental. Awesome, awesome stuff. But it was Luis Suarez who got the man of the match, which I think uh, the Colombian should have. Awesome stuff. So we won against Milan. We won against Napoli. And we drew, we end up winning against Valencia on goal difference. But we end up simming the match against Torino. We end up winning 2 1. And we have the champ, we have the Euro final in the next episode, guys. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Simpsy. I'm at Lays, my friends. Now, it's kind of a cliffhanger because we won against Milan. We won against Torino. Did we beat Juventus? Did they drop points anywhere? We'll just have to see if we win the league title. Or we're going to be on second. So, guys, we're going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and let me know whether or not you want to see Season 2 of the Florentina Career Mode or Season 5 of the Manchester United. Goodbye.